In the load module, you can use the load, boundary condition, and predefined field managers to view and manipulate the stepwise history of prescribed conditions. With creating load and in mechanical category concentrated force is the first type for the selected step to apply concentrated forces and moments to nodal degrees of freedom. For example, for this point here, you can enter its value in the direction of x, y, z. By selecting the follow nodal rotation, the force will rotate with the node to which it is applied and it will change the direction of the force as the node rotates. This option affects only when non-linearly geometry is on. Amplitude allows uh, arbitrary time variations of load, displacement and other prescribed variable magnitudes to be given throughout a step. From FX, create an analytical field using an expression. Analytical fields defined using mathematical expressions are called expression fields. And those which are using an external data source such as point cloud data are called mapped field. I cancel it to explain the remaining tools. You can create a moment load to define rotation at a vertex or node. Pressure load defines pressure over a surface. Always pressure acts normal to the surface. In the pressure field, by selecting this surface, in distribution section there are some options such as uniform to define a pressure that is uniformly distributed over the surface for this option. The magnitude you provide must be the force per unit area Total force is to define a pressure that is uniformly distributed over the surface. Hydrostatic is to define a hydrostatic pressure applied to the surface, which we have to enter the zero pressure height and reference pressure height. If we chose the step as explicit type, there were other options, including stagnation, that defined a stagnation pressure applied to the surface. And viscose, to define a viscose pressure applied to the surface. The last one is the user defined, to define the magnitude of the load in the user subroutine D load. The next type is shell edge load. You can create a shell edge load to define a general, shear normal or transverse traction uh, or a moment along a shell edge. Here are some types of distribution like uniform to define a load that is uniform over the shell edge and user defined to define the magnitude of the load in the user subroutine uh, Utrak load. Normal to define a normal shell edge traction, transverse to define a transverse shell edge traction, shear to define a shear shell edge traction, and moment to define a shell edge moment. And general to define a general shell edge traction. The traction unit must be the force per unit length. Surface traction defines a general or shear traction over a surface. Pipe pressure prescribes internal or external pressure in a pipe or elbow. So you should enter an internal pressure within the pipe and external pressure on the pipe. You can define a body force to apply force per unit volume over a body. You can prescribe the force per unit length over a beam with the line load option. You can define a uniform acceleration in a fixed direction by gravity load. Abacus calculates the load using the acceleration magnitude that you enter in the gravity load def def definition. In the y-axis, enter minus 9.8.
and the density specified in the material definition. Bolt load models tightening forces or length adjustments in bolts or fasteners. Generalized plane strain is an actual load applied to the reference point of a region modeled with generalized plane strain elements. The next two types are used to apply concentrated forces and moments to the available components of relative motion in connector elements respectively. In the thermal category, surface heat flux load defines surface-based heat fluxes and body heat flux load represents distributed heat fluxes over a volume. By concentrated heat flux, apply a concentrated heat flux to a vertex or node. You can also create a concentrated uh, pore fluid flow load to define concentrated pore fluid flow at a vertex or node in soils analysis. The last load type is fluid reference pressure load, which is for uh, specifying the a hydrostatic pressure level at a point in the model. This load available in the Abacus CFD. This is a small part of the Abacus for beginners training package. There is a lot more valuable information in other parts of this package that you can get on our website. We suggest you do your project by saving your time and getting basic in training so that you don't get tired of Abacus errors. The next part is boundary condition. In the mechanical category, you can define a boundary condition by selecting one of the common types listed here. I choose the symmetry anti symmetry in caster boundary condition. I can select a surface or an edge. And if I want to select more than a surface, I should hold Shift. After selecting the surface, you should choose one of the following options. First of all, XSIM is a symmetry about a plane X equal to constant. Next is YSIM, which is symmetric boundary conditions about a plane Y equal constant. Z-SIM is symmetric boundary conditions about a plane Z equal constant. XA-SIM is anti-symmetry about a plane with X equal to constant. The previous was Z-symmetry and this is X anti-symmetry. Uh, YA-SIM is the anti-symmetry boundary condition about a plane with constant Y. Z-A-SIM is the anti-symmetry about a plane with the constant Z. Pinned displacement is the in the x, y, and z direction are fixed. In caster, is fully built in. When it takes shape, it means that the boundary conditions are fully created. The following boundary condition is displacement rotation. This type of boundary condition in the initial step can be only zero. For example, if I select this edge, it asks me which degrees of freedom should be fixed, which means zero value. But if you select a step one, the pop-up window requires values. Here you can see boundary conditions of transition and rotation in which U1 is nodal freedom in the one direction, U2 is nodal freedom in the two direction, U3 is nodal freedom in the 3 direction. UR1 is rotation about the 1 axis, UR2 is rotation about the 2 axis, and UR3 is a rotation about the 3 axis. The following boundary condition is velocity, angular velocity, to assign a velocity for the selected degrees of freedom of the selected region's nodes. That V1 is velocity on X axis, and V2 Y axis, and V3 Z axis, and so on. VR1 is the angular velocity around the x-axis, VR2 is the angular velocity around the y-axis, VR3 is the angular velocity around the z-axis. With connector displacement, you can create displacement for the available components of 
relative motion of con connectors. If our step was different, acceleration and connection acceleration could be one of the boundary conditions. Connector velocity is used to prescribe a velocity for the available components of the relative motion of connectors. In the other category, like fluid, you can control the pressure in a cavity throughout the analysis. In the Abaca CFD model with the fluid step, the available types are fluid reference pressure and porous drag body force. Input is the porosity of the medium. There would be also a fluid inlet outlet defining the inflow boundary conditions at surfaces and specifying momentum like pressure or velocity. Thermal energy like temperature and turbulence conditions at the inlet or outlet. With fluid wall, uh, wall conditions, you can define wall boundary conditions at surfaces. The pore pressure degrees of freedom can be applied automatically as mechanical surface pressures for pore pressure elements. The next one is the connector material flow if you want to constrain the material flow at the end points of a connector. By fluid cavity pressure, the initial fluid cavity pressure for fluid filled cavities can be defined. Submodel can only be used in substructure step. Predefined field describes how to specify temperature, field variables, equivalent pressure stress, and mass flow rate. With the current step, only the temperature is activated, so I will change the step. In the initial step, you can define the temperature, material assignment, initial state, and saturation, which is initial saturation for a region in a coupled pore fluid diffusion stress analysis. And the void ratio is defined as the ratio of the volume of voids to the volume of a solid material, and also you can define pore pressure and fluid cavity pressure. In the mechanical category, velocity, stress, geo uh, geostatic stress, and hardening available to be defined. You can create load cases in static perturbation, direct steady state dynamic, sim based steady state dynamic, and substructure generation analysis. Therefore, you can enter a set of forces and initial conditions to study the linear response of a structure. This is a small part of the Abacus for Beginners training package. There is a lot more valuable information in other parts of this package that you can get on our website. We suggest you do your project by saving your time and getting basic in training so that you don't get tired of Abacus errors.